again. Welcome back to Circle Time. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hello to everyone. And how are you today? We come to our circle time to laugh and sing and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're only halfway up, we're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slowly. Go super, super slow. Roll as fast. Give your hands a clap, 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 and fold them in your lap, tap, tap. All right, let's stand up and sing our Days of the Week song. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, friends, what day is it today? Did you say Friday? That's right, it's Friday. And today's Friday. What day was yesterday, friends? Yesterday was Thursday. Okay, so yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday, so that means that tomorrow must be what? If you say Saturday, that's right. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Amazing. All right, friends, let's count to see what our special number is today. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Good. And what color is our flower? Yellow, yellow, purple, purple. Good. And it's the 22nd day of which month? May, awesome. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. One more time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Awesome job. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Good job. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Sit down. All right, friends, let's have a seat. And what was our new letter this week? Letter V. Good. And V says B. Good. And what was our new number? 13. Remember, a one and a three right next to each other. It's 13. And our new sight word was the word two. T-O. Two. And we had a new shape. A nanagon. We've been very busy this week. All right, my friends, I have some news. Today will be our last circle time for the school year. I know, I'm so sad, but I just want to thank all of you so much for coming along on this fun ride and coming and seeing me every day for some circle time. I appreciate it and I love you. Okay, so we're going to finish off this circle time with a story. But first, do you know what this guy is wearing? Do you know what that is? That shiny silver stuff that looks like metal? It's his suit of armor. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Some of our cartoons, we might see a knight wearing a suit of armor. They used to 
versus armor a long time ago to protect themselves. Have you seen this before? Well, this suit of armor is super strong. Super strong. Show me your muscles. Strong. And this suit of armor protects whoever's wearing it from harm. Isn't that cool? Well, I want to tell you that you have a suit of armor too. Did you know that? So today I brought with me this little guy to help me show you. Say hi. So he's going to help me show you about your suit of armor. Now think, who protects us above anyone else? God, God protects us. He protects us every day, right? And where does God live? In our hearts, right? Good. Okay, so God gave you a suit of armor. Sometimes you might forget to put it on, but today I'm going to remind you on how to put it on every day, and I promise that you won't forget. Okay, so first we're going to start with a belt. Put his belt on. This, my friends, is the belt of truth. Can you put on your belt? Put on your belt. Your belt of truth. And when we see a belt of truth, I want you to remember to always be truthful. Now, is it easy to be truthful? Not always. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you might be afraid that you're going to get in trouble. But I want you to know that being truthful is so very important. Because even when we make a mistake, even when we make bad choices, all we need to do is tell the truth. And it helps so much, friends. Okay? Next, we're going to put on our breastplate of righteousness. And this goes with our truth belt. I'm going to put on... Look at that. Okay, so we just said it a couple of seconds ago, but who lives in your heart? God does, right? Well, this breastplate protects you because God lives in your heart and he covers you. And do you know that when we tell the truth, he listens. And when we make a bad choice, he listens to that too. All we need to do is tell him and he will cover us his forgiveness. You, when you make a bad choice, you just say, God, I made a bad choice. I'm sorry. This is what I did. And he says, I forgive you. Now, next, we're going to put on our sandals of peace. Let's put his little sandals on. You might call them shoes. So we're going to put on our shoes or your socks or your foot flops or your sandals, whatever you put on your feet and think about walking God's path. We're going to follow the way that God wants us to live. And that's being honest, being kind, bringing peace to yourself by letting God live in your heart and being, bringing peace to others by sharing his love, being kind and thoughtful and generous. These are all ways that we can show God's love. And now I know that you guys show God's love every day when you do something nice for someone else. And that makes his heart so very happy. All right, next we're going to use our shield of faith. Okay, so when we see shields, what do they do? They can stop things, right? Well, this shield is going to stop the bad choices from coming at us because we're going to think about God and what his word says and we're going to use our shield to stop things, bad choices. It might be maybe a cartoon or maybe a video game that might be a little too much and it's something that we shouldn't be playing or watching and God's going to help us stop that, right? Because we're going to remember how to make good choices from God's word. And with that comes uh, the helmet of salvation. I'm gonna skip this step. 
because not only are there things coming at us that might have us make bad choices, but sometimes we just have bad choices in our brain, right? But if we remember and think, well, God said this isn't a good choice, and we make a good choice by remembering what God says, that's how the helmet protects you. I'm sure that you do that. You might think, hmm, I'm going to do something not nice. Like maybe I'm going to pull my sister's hair. <gasps> That's not a good choice, is it? And then we stop ourselves. That's because the helmet of salvation is working and you remember to put your helmet on today. All right. Now we're going to give ourselves a sword. And this is the spirit of God's word. So when we have our sword, now what do swords do? They might cut things like a knife, right? So the sword of spirit is going to help us cut those bad choices away from us, right? So maybe that, that thought to pull our sister's hair, that's not a good choice. Our sword of salvation is going to say, no, remember what God said to be kind to others, right? And to tie all this together, how do we know to do these things? How do we know if we're going to make a bad choice? Well, one is we can read our Bibles, right? Or have mommy and daddy read our Bible with us. And we can listen to the words that God says in the Bible about being kind to others. And then we can pray. Oh, friends, it's so good to pray. And praying is just talking to God. There's no special words you have to say. All you do is tell him about your day or ask him for help with your day. And he is there with you living in your heart. So don't forget friends to put on your armor every day to keep God in your heart. He loves you so very much. And so do I. And thank you again for spending this time with me every day. I hope that you guys have a very blessed summer and I hope to see you soon. Bye friends.